The year was 2022. It was bright and sunny that day. The inspector was looking out the window, trying to come up with ideas, as he was in the office, as always, writing a new script to feature free-to-play crypto games to bring his audience the absolute best videos possible. On that particular day, something was off. The inspector had a feeling as if he was being watched. Because he was. So we have all heard of Theta Arena, the Sandbox, Near 4, Crypto Voxels, Coin Hunt World, Crazy Defense Heroes, League of Kingdoms. But then there's also Crypto Golf Impact, Ethless, Crypto Ball Z, Rise of Stars, Benji Bananas. Do you know what all these games have in common, except that they're all crypto games and play to earn? Well, they're all free to play crypto games as well, so I just gave you a list of freaking 20 games that you can check out. But today's list will focus on three particular games that in my opinion have tremendously good gameplay. These three games are free to play, you can start right now, and they are also play to earn. Yes, I have talked about these games before, but with so many crypto games coming out all the time, let me just refresh your minds a little bit. Welcome back to the Mind Blow Show. I'm the inspector, let's get this show on the road. First game we're gonna talk about is Huddle God. Right here on the screen, for everybody who doesn't speak English very well. It's free to play, it's client based, and it's a battle royal with absolutely amazing graphics. So this game being a battle royal, the goal is to go on a map with a bunch of different people and the last one to survive wins. Not only the game, but he also wins coins. Now yes, in this game you need to have a particular set of skills, not like Liam Neeson in the Taken movies, but you need to have keyboard and mouse skills, you actually need to know how to play and you need to practice. They also have NFT support through the Wax blockchain and if you connect your Wax wallet to Huddle God, you can actually pick up those NFT type of things throughout the game and if you win you can bring them along with you outside of the game directly to your wallet to either use in later games as cosmetics and then if you have those cosmetics you would earn more crypto or you can just straight up sell them to other people who want to have the cosmetics for themselves then there's also a pve mode they're working on where you don't actually have to compete against other players but you can compete with other players against monsters and zombies and, and it's not really zombies but it, it kind of always is isn't it? it it's always some kind of monster zombies vampires and stuff but whatever it is it's pve so player versus environment you don't really have to label the enemies in order to know thy enemy the hell was this oh i know what the noise was it's just my sponsor globe and so Dribbly is the first deflationary play-to-earn game. This is a play-to-earn football manager game or soccer for you Americans out there. And so there's a few ways you can earn in this game. First of all, you can own NFTs and earn that way. Next thing is you can rent out those NFTs and profit share with people who don't have money to buy the NFTs. Or you can also stake your NFT. All of this while doing what you love most and that is playing football. And so the team is fully doxxed with strong companies behind the game and blockchain development. Over 10 years of experience in both blockchain and game development. So Dribbly has deflationary tokenomics for NFTs and for their token, which makes Dribbly a sustainable game. The game is currently under development, it will be ready soon, and the game is not only for making money, it is also made to be fun with the team having over 10 years of game development, I really expect it to be fun. And so as the team behind this project told me, it is expected that early users will receive anywhere from 50 to $100 per day of playing. Once again, massive thanks to Dribbly for sponsoring this video and I know you guys love sponsors because this is how I finance all the giveaways. So it would mean a lot to me if you would go down in the description, check out their website, check out their project, see what they're all about, and let's get back to the video. Yes, I have a bunch of clones with me in my apartment. They're the, the sponsor clone, which you have just met. I got some goofy ones, I got some dangerous ones. I think you'll get to know them throughout my videos in the future. They look like they have bad intentions, but I don't really. They're all pretty nice, just like me. I'm nice, right? You're not nice at all! Shut up, clone! We're gonna get into the clone pit. 
Second game on the list is Blanco's Block Party. Also one of my all-time favorite crypto games. It's just like Fall Guys. If you guys remember Fall Guys from the normal gaming days, this is very similar, but with a crypto twist. Your characters are NFTs, you have NFT wearables in form of sunglasses, hats. But basically, they label it as an MMO set in a vibrant world styled like a giant block party. The focus is on custom art, on design and on the vibrant colors and basically you have this like main area where everybody spawns to and then you have mini games. So you jump into a mini game, it's a random one and you compete against other players who are also in the main plaza area. The mini games can be anything from uh, who can run the fastest to doing parkour to having a straight up battle royal shooting each other. Basically the people can make these mini games. So there's always a big big variety of mini games to choose from, but my favorite thing is always just just to jump into the mini games portal and surprise myself with a new mini game. And usually they're not really that hard. The people who play this are not very competitive, like maybe in Huddle God, where it's very hard to actually get a win. But you can get a squad, and you play these user-created mini games called block parties. But this main plaza area is called the Junction, and you can also get a variety of quests to do inside of the Junction. They'll give you some NFT the accessories to wear, sell, trade, do whatever you want with it. It's an NFT, you own it. Available for Windows and Mac, the game is out right now and you can play it for free. That being said, moving on to the third game. You know what, let's get the UFC announcer clone for this one. Uh, UFC announcer clone, come here, announce the third game. It's time for the main event of the evening. The third game on the list is called a Splinterland. I, stop, stop. I told you to wear a suit. Off to the clone pit with you. I'm gonna make a new clone. Off to the clone pit. Go. Sorry about that. Basically, Splinterlands is a trading card game where every card is an NFT. You can play it for free and you can also earn for free. Splinterlands is one of the oldest crypto games. They started named Steam Monsters, named for the blockchain where it was created from, now also known as the Hive ecosystem. It was created in mid-2018 and since then it has grown steadily in numbers of active players, traded volume on the market and rewards given back to the players. So now it does run on the Hive blockchain or the Hive ecosystem. So this is a community built player-funded blockchain powerhouse that continues with updates every day and basically you collect, you battle, you trade and you earn. That is Splinterlands for you ladies and gentlemen. If any of you out there are trading card game fans, this might just be the game for you. There's another one called Gods Unchained, but I featured it recently, so I wanted to talk a little bit about Splinter Splinterland. <laughs> Tongue twist. Talk a little bit about Splinterlands, which is one of the pioneers of blockchain gaming and non-fungible tokens inside of video games. So collect these NFT cards and you battle it out with their own rules. The rules are pretty simple to learn, and there's a lot of starting guides videos on YouTube. You have a limited amount of tries to play throughout the day because you have, let's call it some sort of stamina counter. It's not called stamina, but just for ease of explanation, I'm gonna call it that. And basically the more you play, the more the stamina runs out and the less you can earn. And this is a very good system of fighting bots. So there's not a lot of bots in this game, unlike Mirror 4. That being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you all for my next one. And you will never know if I'm actually a clone or the real inspector. Let it remain a mystery. Peace.